So I'm on my Instagram account here and if I head over to the reels section and tap on drafts, you can see I've got a couple of reels here in my drafts and this is the one that I want to share now. Once you have created your reel, you will see this screen as well um, and this is where you actually are going to edit your cover image. Now if I tap edit cover here, automatically it's giving me options to scroll along to find a thumbnail of the reel that I could use as the cover image. Um, then if you tap on profile grid, you can kind of preview how that's going to look on your grid and kind of move the crop around but I don't really like any of the thumbnails from this video they're not going to fit really well um, into my uh, Instagram grid if we just take a look over it here I just want it to be a little bit more simple and refined than just using those bold fonts that I have in the actual video that's fine for the actual reel I've still used kind of on brand colors um, but I just want to create something that's going to stand out a little bit more so this is where you can actually create your own custom images to add and upload where it says add from camera roll you can tap on that and upload your own custom image for the reel cover this is where my favorite free design tool canva comes in you can also get the app on your phone and do everything via your phone if you prefer but I just personally prefer to design stuff at my desktop so I've opened it up in the desktop app you can create a free account if you don't have one already and it gives you access to loads of different design tools including pre-made templates that Canva have created for a variety of things including if we type in real cover and search for that are all the templates that Canva has created here. Now, some of these are available with your free Canva account, while some of them are just available if you have a Canva Pro account and you can see the difference um, by the little pro crown that appears in the bottom right hand corner of some of these designs. As you scroll through, you'll see some of those have that and some of those don't. If you've got a pro Canva account that literally includes every single tool in Canva. And I would definitely recommend it if you create your own social media graphics or anything like that it's something like $12 a month for the pro version and honestly it is game-changing if you haven't got it already I would highly recommend but even with the free version there are still loads of templates you can use here or of course you can actually create your own design from scratch using the um, you can just use the Instagram story template um, as your starter because it's the same dimensions um, so you can just check the dimensions when you're creating a design by hovering over it or you can click custom size and then create your own size for the canvas of your blank template and you will see some templates here on the left hand side as well based on what it thinks you're creating too so you could use any of these for your real cover design as well or just do what I did and just search real cover and it'll give you some templates to start with. So all of these you can completely customize. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose this one because I feel like that uh, kind of style is going to fit in with my brand and my page. But obviously I'm going to want to customize various elements of it. Um, I'm personally just going to upload an image as the background here instead of using these floral effects. Or you could just keep it as a color here and just click on the background to change the color to one of your brand colors, for example. Um, because I'm using the pro account on Canva, I can create a brand color palette here. But if not, you can just click the plus button and type in your brand color codes so that you can create um, completely branded uh, graphics on here as well. The great thing about Canva is you can just click to upload any image, any file that you want to Canva, which will then store it here on the left and you can just click and drag that to either add it as kind of an image to drag around your canvas or art space here or drag it over the background so that it then kind of spreads to the whole background here so then what I'm going to do is just double click on that just to change the crop so that I can edit what parts of the photo are visible behind that um, area just clicking and dragging um, so I think that looks great as a background image and then just going to again get rid of any elements that I don't want and then just double click on the text to start editing it so I've just edited the text here but what I can also do is of course change the font because this isn't necessarily my brand font again because I have the pro version of Canva I have all my brand fonts um, loaded in here and I've been able to upload custom fonts but Canva also has a huge selection of free fonts available as well some of these do have the little pro icon next to it but you'll notice a lot of them don't so there are literally hundreds as we scroll through 
of fonts that you can choose in just the free version as well. So something there is going to be similar to your brand font, even if they don't have the exact one. I'm just going to select the fonts that I've uploaded here. I'm also just clicking on the background of this shape here, just to make sure that that is um, aligned with my own branding as well. Um, maybe I'm just going to keep it white or possibly the off-white colour. And I might actually make this whole section just a little bit smaller as well so that plenty of the background image stands out. But again, you can see how I've completely customized this to fit with my brand um, versus what it was before. And you can do all of those same things that I've just done with any of these templates. So I'm happy with how this is looking now. I'm just gonna come up to the top and give it a name. Um, and then I'm going to download it so that I can then add it to my Instagram reel. And to do that, what you need to do is go up to the top right, click share, click download, keep it as a PNG in all of these settings, and then just click download and that will save it to your computer. And again, you can do all of this from directly within the mobile app as well, if you don't want to have to use a computer for this. Okay, so I've just downloaded the graphic from Canva, sent it to my phone via AirDrop, but you can do that however you wish, depending on the phone that you're using, or just download the Canva app and direct download it from there um, so it's in my camera roll ready to go and now I'm going to head over to Instagram head into my drafts again and tap on the reel that I want to edit and I'm going to tap edit cover and this time instead of choosing a thumbnail I'm going to tap add from camera roll and choose that uh, graphic that I've just created you can also again tap on the profile grid just to check that that is all looking good and that's how you would want it to appear on your profile you can edit kind of the crop of it there but I think that's all looking fine and then I'm going to go ahead and post it. Okay so that has just posted now so I can see the reel is there and then if I head onto my profile you can see that that cover image is coming through on my grid so that it all fits in really nicely, it looks really professional, it looks eye-catching and then if I also tap on the reels area you can see it in there as well and I just think it fits so much better with the aesthetic, with the vibe than just a thumbnail from the video did. If you like these kind of business and tech tips don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up while you're there. Thanks so much for watching.